Hi, my name's James Cobra. I'm the tennis director at Shoreline Tennis here in Gulf Breeze, joined by my head tennis professional, Whitney Mann, my assistant professional, Caleb Cobia, and our two up-and-coming juniors, Jennifer Feifler and Clay Feifler. Today, we are gonna talk about moving with the tennis ball. In doubles, it is key that we move with our partner. What I like to think of is we have an imaginary string between us. As my player moves out, if Caleb moves this way, his partner will always move with him and vice versa. Once Whitney moves back, Caleb moves with him. And this works for both teams. In this little drill we're gonna show you today about our tip of moving together, we're gonna to use all four players. Everyone on the court has a job to fulfill. I'm gonna feed a wide ball out. Clay will go out and get that tennis ball. Jennifer will obviously move with him and my players here will move together. As that ball goes out, there are two real high percentage shots that we should see. Either the ball goes down the line or the ball goes through the middle. So as Clay moves out, Caleb will follow him and Whitney will move more diagonally forward to cut off the angle. With this movement, what he has done, he's taken the middle away and he's also covering quite a good percentage of the out wide ball. This is the lower percentage shot, but he will have most of it covered. If the ball does go way out, We'll just sit there and applaud that shot because that is a great shot. So now we're going to see it in motion with everyone having a job to fulfill. The ball goes out wide and these boys move together. And you see Caleb had that ball covered. The big key when we do move out that we didn't talk about, when we move out here, we don't want to go too far. The misconception when we're trying to cover the line is to take a step into the alley. What happens here if we take a right foot step for a volley? As you can see from there, we're covering an out tennis ball. So Caleb probably only needs to get about two feet from the singles line, because now if he takes a right foot step, he has most of that line covered. Now, if Clay goes through the middle, Whitney is right there, squeezing that ball and then recovering. And if you see what happened there after Whitney made his first shot, immediately recovering. We always talk about recovery. How do we judge speed on a tennis court? It's how quick we recover. Now we'll go to Jennifer. Same deal, showing you from a different angle here. Now that was a great shot. She found a very small space there to get that ball through, but we'll watch it again. And there you see it perfect there, Whitney covering that line. We'll go through the middle again this time. There we go, that time Caleb was there. First time Jennifer did a very good job at threading that needle, but then again, you see both of them covering that middle. We'll see it one more time. So moving with your partner being the key here. You see both teams constantly moving. And that's the key to a successful doubles team, moving together. And that's our tip for today.